all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and we got to talk about tiger and this man's amazing comeback that he tends to make again and again and again and no matter how freaking embarrassing or just off or somewhat corny as a lot of people would say tiger might get caught up in in terms of moments he figures out a way to come back and give us something that we actually like. Not that I'm speaking for everybody. Don't be in the comments talking about, I hate Tiger, man. I ain't never rock with Tiger. He still sucks. Now let's start here. As a matter of fact, let's look at one of his first songs called Coconut Juice. Needless to say, that boy Tiger wasn't necessarily, you know, the coolest one in the bunch. He wasn't really killing the game at the time, but he did have a sense of fans. People do remember that song fondly, even if it is for, you know, some of the wrong reasons. Then if you fast forward four years later, Tiger was signed. He was a young money artist. And not only that, he had two songs in 2012 that were on the charts. They were actually real popular songs, a heavy rotation that is faded. Nigga, I'm faded, faded, faded. My nigga, I'm faded, faded. In Rack City. Rack City, bitch. Rack, Rack City, bitch. 10, 10, 10, 20s on your titties, bitch. Now, of course, like a lot of times when artists first hit the scene, this was kind of one of his best moments in his career. He was taking over. He kind of had one of those things where you didn't necessarily know where his trajectory was going to go. It was, hey, are you going to be a one-hit wonder? Are you going to be a two-hit wonder? Are you going to be a way bigger artist? But either way it goes, he was in a real good space. Then after that, he has another three years where he kind of starts to disappear. And even in 2015, he started to have that TV show, King and Me with Tyga. He was dating Kylie Jenner. He had a tour with Chris Brown. He had a lot going on, but he wasn't really that artist. People, for whatever reason, believe Tyga was really corny. And he couldn't seem to really shake that up off him. And I'm talking about people who had never seen the Coconut Juice video. People who had never even seen footage of him being on that show. For whatever reason, Tyga just had the corny vibe and he couldn't get it off him. I necessarily never really shared that full sentiment. I just wanted to hear good music for him if he either had a song out or he didn't. It's not like even in this period though, between 2012 and I would say 2017, he was still dropping music and fans were still liking it. They were getting views. You can find them on YouTube, but it wasn't really until 2018 where that guy came with one again. As a matter of fact, he came with two. The big one, of course, is taste. Money like a shower, that's my rain dance. And we all in black, like it's gangland. And the second one is Swish. Both of these songs kind of sound alike, but the point is they're hitting and they're hitting hard. You hear a lot of people singing it. You hear Joe Budden having his famous clip that's being reworked of him just humming the song. He hums it so many times on different platforms and podcasts that he works on. I'm almost mad that it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost <laughs> <mad. laughs> Tiger is having another legitimate moment. Six years really after his last legitimate music moment. So that's just a reminder that hey, people can feel you corny or whatever. If you come with the music, the right music, you can catch one and you can still shake some of that stuff off. Think about even the artists that necessarily aren't corny or lame or just some kind of thing that's not real, is more subjective. There's artists that have legitimate things like some certain crimes and things like that that they've done, but when they keep coming with the good music, a lot of people tend to ignore it for a bit, or at least they try to. Tyga is a great reminder of that and a way that he continues to just have endurance and kind of push off a lot of this negativity and lack of reception for what he got to give, it's kind of inspirational. Even if you don't like Tiger, I think that's something a lot of people should be able to admire about the dude. At the end of the day, his rebranding is simple. It's usually come out with a joint that actually catches. I would love to know what you guys think. Are you a Tiger fan? Are you a Tiger stan? Are you a Tiger hater? Put it all in the comments. But other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.